Oh, in fact, in the band, it, well, I think, uh, yeah, I think they were being called the band of gypsies at the time, because in the band was also the cousin of Jimi Hendrix, and I believe he was either playing bass, uh, yeah, playing bass. So that, that was a really cool gig, and they were great. You know, I, I know I was getting some advice and things like that, but they were doing gigs at the Santa Monica Pier. So, um, anyways, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. Is, uh, that's a really fun piece, the, the Baby and the Flying Saucer. It's an optical illusion. Um, as you uh, look at it, it looks, uh, if you can see where the uh, baby would be uh, looking into, towards the center of the uh, Flying Saucer. And, uh, and then it's as if the baby turns his head and he has his mouth open. And the elements of the Flying Saucer are actually like his little baby teeth. So that's that's a that's a cute uh, picture, and that would be cool for something three dimensional. You know, I was thinking, but if I want to be three dimensional forms, how about like you know big giant stone engraved images of like the Mayan calendar and things like that. You know, that was another thing that I was thinking about. You know, before um, you know, I mentioned this to Kayla. You know, when I first got back with her in uh, uh, 2003, it was that I really wanted to get together and uh, do some. Or tiki paintings, and I actually really printed out some pictures of uh, tiki gods. We used to take a drive up to like New Hall, you know, Bouquet Canyon, in Arizona, all the all these gift shops so along the road out there in the middle. Of, you know, they all had these stone tiki, uh, little stone tiki keychain things. And some of them were different sizes and stuff. You know, and they had, you know, you put them on your keychain, you put, you put them on. You know, I used to get them in different colors, you know, they were stone. You know, like, uh, you know, like jade colors, and ruby red kind of colors, and, you know, uh, blue and turquoise kind of colors. So, uh, you know, now there's the one where the hand was on the, uh, hands on the head like this. And so this is what you see at first glance. You don't really realize that that's an arm and a hand because that's the stamp. And then you have the head up on top. Oh, no, I guess you guys know. I guess it, I guess it takes a, a specific type of maturity. Uh, when I came home tonight, I put on a clockwork orange. I was just flipping through the movies on my uh, on my desk. First, I started doing some meditation, and I posted some meditation um, mantras, and I listened to those, and I got really absorbed, and uh, then I got into the Ram Dass video. I still need to do this week's Ram Dass, so that's what I'm going to be doing this weekend. I'm just going to be... Uh, you know, probably offline most of the time because I'm just going to be doing my meditation side today and uh, because I need to get it done. I'm going to get a new one on Monday. You know, this is a five-week retreat. And I'm thinking retreat means for five weeks I should just turn off the phone. You know, always something important that I need to know maybe on Facebook or my email. Well, I'll probably check my email for you. But
talking about stuff like, yeah, the electric lady comes out of the bank and she floats over to you. Her ions move, her arms move, it looks like she turns around and you see her backside and she slaps you. <laughs> You've got to be warned first. I should have a disclaimers for you to sign that if anything happens to you or you're doing your trip with this art, that was up to you to do or ma'am or whoever. You know, um, maybe there needs to be put on it. Um, I was, you know, I, I was thinking, you know, they put it in the shell, put it up, never pull it out again, never again, um, publicly show these again. Yeah, you know, if, but if somebody's actually really into it, they dig core, they dig skull and bones, you know, I mean, they're so into it, you know, you can even, like, you know, get uh, uh, transplant, uh, implant crosses on you know, if you want to be a vampire, and you know, you can have Bella Lugosi posters all over the walls and stuff, and you're really into cult horror and stuff like that, you would love this stuff. In fact, um, I would only do it on contract only, okay? Um, you would have to contact me for something like that, um, and, and we'll make the arrangements, okay? So I think I've demonstrated something. But um, there's uh, a wide area or avenue for something like this um, you know, to, to have uh, figure or achieve the holographic uh, type of a 3D dimensional um, black light uh, display fantasy. I guess they used to think Walt Disney was crazy. He was in the game, he's got little pictures of ducks and, 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 and mouse, mice, mouse, or things like that. You know, or things that he would say would be so outlandish, you know, things about the future that have actually really transpired, you know, like, uh, oh, I guess they had the picture phone, you know, in Tomorrowland, I can show you that. But I guess there was some sort of regulation or something like that that the picture phone actually really never uh, got on the ground floor. But they were cool to see, you know, they had the demonstration at, at Disneyland in Tomorrowland. So, um, I guess maybe that's really what I want to say. Should I tell a joke? When I heard Chuck, I was just thinking, what kind of a, which joke should I actually say or what is that joke? Okay, we'll, we'll always just think with a, with a lullaby in the joke, okay? Um, and there's this guy, okay, he's out in the middle of the desert. And he's crawling in the sand. He's going, water, water. I really need some water. <laughs> and he sees a guy up on the sand dune over there. And he's going, oh, oh that's great. Maybe the guy has water. So he goes crawling up the sand dude, and gets the guy's feet, grabs him by the ankles, goes, water, water. I really need some water. And he goes, neckties on sale today for five dollars. He goes, neckties, never need a necktie. I need some water. He goes, suit yourself. So he goes crawling across the desert, you know, water. And uh, all of a sudden he sees this, uh, he sees the oasis. And with the Mirage Casino. <laughs> yeah, with big flashing lights and you see the doorman and you know the all the uh, parking the cars and everything, uh chalet parking. <laughs> he goes crawling up, crawling up to the doorstep and gets up to the doorman and goes, water, water, I really need some water. He says, sorry, can't let you know without a time. <laughs> okay. Thank you.